I'm Dwayne, and I'm a telecommunications technician in the Australian Army. I'm Holly, and I'm a telecommunications technician in the Australian Army. A telecommunications technician provides the backbone infrastructure for data and voice from the end user to the battle group headquarters. Prior to joining the Army, I was working part-time, just stocking shelves and uh, at the checkout. I was also studying accounting part-time. After doing this for a couple months, it was quite mundane, and I realised that I needed a career that was more exciting. After looking at the Defence Jobs website, I read the job description of the telecommunications technician and I knew that was the job for me. I joined the Army when I was 18 years old. I just finished school and was working full time. I joined the Army because I wanted to do something different and the Army was a great opportunity to do something meaningful with my life. A typical day after rocking up in the morning is a PT session, breakfast after, and then into the work base to maintain, service and test our equipment when needed. The main draw card to becoming a telecommunications technician was the transferable skills. As part of my initial employment training, I gained a nationally recognised certification. My biggest achievement was gaining my open cable licence. We learnt how to cable from copper to fibre, from basic handles to main distribution frames. What drew me to this job role was the civilian qualifications that came with it and the confidence that I would have in securing a job after my army career. I got qualifications that were Australia-wide recognised and that it was a good secure job. Prior to joining the army, I had no experience in telecommunications, but after doing a year and a half at the Defence Force School of Signals in Melbourne, I was fully trade qualified. The difference between this job role in the army and the outside is that in the morning, you could be setting up communications equipment and in the afternoon be at the range shooting weapons. When deployed, our job is to establish the main link from wherever we are in the world back to Australian strategic communications. Implications of that can be that the commander cannot receive sensitive information impacting the battle. If you're considering joining the army, I would encourage you to do so. You're never going to find a career as challenging and rewarding as this. I've also made some lifelong friendships. Being in the Army has changed me as it gave me lots of discipline and independence from a young age. <laughs>